Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a closer look at the Pecan X7. These are a pair of TWS wireless buds that sell for under 30 bucks, sometimes goes on sale for only 25, making them ultra affordable. And in general, the price of these wireless buds have just been getting lower and lower over the past few months, making them super accessible now to almost anyone. In fact, for the low price here, we're actually getting some interesting features, including dual drivers, which supposedly is able to give us bigger sound. The controls also allow us to change things like volume directly on them, which is awesome. In addition, you can tap twice to play and pause the music and skip tracks. And there's even a dedicated low latency gaming mode, which you can access by triple tapping to really get you as little lag as possible. In terms of battery life, they will last for up to 30 hours with the case. And when removed, they will play back music for about five hours. Last but not least, they're rated to be IPX68. So you can use these in the rain and they will still survive. You can get them a bit wet or sweaty. And again, it shouldn't impede the functionality. And inside we have the quick user guide along with some spare silicon tips to get a more snug fit. But in terms of the design, I do think the X7 looks actually quite attractive, more expensive than the price would imply. There is a translucent plastic sheath that allows you to kind of see what the buds are like without fully removing them from the casing, uh, which is neat. You can also make out the indication lights there. And the body of the case itself, although it's made out of plastic, does feel relatively sturdy along with some notification lights as well as the USB Type-C charging port on the rear, and that is pretty much it. Here's a quick contrast with the Redmi Air Dots that really sells for the same price range. And here are the Apple AirPods, which also are going to be a little bit smaller, but in general, these are not bad. Still easy enough to put into a pocket. Now, if we take a closer look at the Buds, when you pop open the door, they automatically start to wake up and pair with your phone. So there's a sensor built into the lid that is pretty sensitive and easy to use. The buds are magnetically held into place so they can be very easily popped back in to quickly charge them up. And they have this round shape to them on the front, which is touch sensitive. And on the back here, they have another translucent accent area that allows you to see kind of the dual driver design. It's a little more obvious if we remove the silicon tip, but you can see the two tiny drivers or speakers that are producing the sound and makes it just look a lot more interesting than the price would imply and continues the same trend from the battery case with the translucent lid. So really Really is very thoughtfully put together I have to say. Now if anything though because they are dual drivers it does mean that the body size is a little bit larger to accommodate the various parts that they've incorporated so as a result if we compare it with something like the Redmi Air Dots you can see it's going to be a little bit thicker but overall not too bad it still is relatively lightweight and it has a ergonomic shape to the design so when you kind of pop it in like this and give it a twist it still locks into place without any complaints I thought that it was comfortable even after wearing it for a few hours of audio listening. Now moving into the audio quality and performance, which is the most important part, I have to say that these don't disappoint either in terms of they're quite clean. So if you pause the music or turn the volume down, they don't really produce any static, any hissing or white noise. None of that is really observable. And then in terms of the sound profile, they also have a good touch of bass as expected with a dedicated driver just for that. But they're also not too overpowering compared to some of the cheaper buds in the past, which were kind of out of control. But at the same time, you're still getting plenty of details in the mids and trebles, which gives you a dynamic, overall pretty nicely balanced sound that works well for almost all genres of casual music I was listening to, from pop music to acoustic tracks, it all was quite good. Even trebles didn't sound too piercing or sharp, so singers' vocals still had a nice texture to them and were enjoyable to listen to. Really, I was pleasantly surprised with the audio here, and it does feel slightly more refined compared to its competitors like the aforementioned Redmi Air Dots that are selling at a similar price. Some of the more expensive ones really just have higher-end uh, audio Kodak support, such as LDAC or Qualcomm's APG-X that's technically able to pass through even more detail via the transmission and also slightly more refined or well-tuned drivers that can squeeze out even more precision and detail. But still, for something in this price range, I have to say that the X7s are still going to give you perhaps one of the best audio experiences you'll find for the price that we're talking about. A nice upgrade from other budget models like the Redmi Air Dots, although they won't still have the most features such as missing active noise cancellation. Everything else, if you just want something simple to listen to music with, I think this will definitely be a strong contender to consider. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Pecan X7.